All right, what's up college football fans, quarterback fans? Welcome to another QB Spotlight video. In this video, we're talking about Quinn Ewers, the success he had against Alabama. We're just gonna break down his performance overall, and then we're gonna finish the video with, with a quick clip from the game, kind of breaking it down. It's broadcast footage, so uh, take it with a grain of salt. We have to kind of demonstrate the broadcast footage in a different way, but I still think it gets the point across of what we're about to talk about in the video. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you for watching the QB channel or the QB Spotlight channel. Uh, we do appreciate it. There's a bunch of great college football content creators out there, so thank you for tuning in to us. We're just a big quarterback hub, all things quarterbacks, quarterback interviews, podcasts, little previews or recaps and, and breakdowns like this video. But Quinn Ewers, let's talk about his success, his performance, and, and just kind of his, I don't know if coming out party is the right word, but my biggest takeaway, if I just had like one sentence to... to kind of describe my takeaway against Alabama is made the necessary improvements he needed to make to have success right like he did everything that he had to do to beat Alabama he did he built on what everyone was talking about against Rice the struggles he had against Rice you no know, not hitting the balls downfield well he, he did that and you know without doing that it might have been tough to beat Alabama but he did that he read the defense really good. He was prepared. Just everything he was supposed to do, he did. He made the improvements he was supposed to do, especially if you're in Austin, like like we are. You know, you hear all the talk, you know, how to do this, how to do that. And even our previous show was like, hey, for yours and Longhorns to win, you're going to have to hit some deep shots. You have to keep your intermediate throws successful, and you're going to have to be prepared for Alabama to show different looks and that's exactly what he did and of course a lot more than that uh but yeah just a great game from yours overall so let, let's talk about the obvious first right the performance or what he did really well against bama and, and that was just connecting on some deep shots connecting on throws 20 yards or more down field again against rice he was like 06 07 a lot of talking about it uh, but if you heard sark's comments it wasn't all his fault there was some receiver stuff going on so I think that was a big, big reason why they were able to win the other night against Bama was three of six of 20 yards downfield or more for like 115 yards of those three completions and two of those were touchdowns. So the big time throws, right? That was huge. Yeah, that's a big reason. I don't want to to minimize that that was a big factor of why they're able to to have success against Bama and why you were able to have success but there's more reasons than just that I think he was still able to attack the intermediate throws he was still five of seven for a buck 40 and a touchdown with throws between 10 and 19 range right kind of your medium type throws intermediate throws so he was still able to kind of use those throws to kind of get into a rhythm and get the offense going there are a few drops too in this game uh, I, I need to mention right it wasn't like it wasn't like a you know, it was, it was a great clean game, but there were a few drop throws that, you know, as a quarterback, sometimes those drops can kind of get in your head and kind of lead to, to performance decreasing, but it didn't in, in Quinn's case. So again, yes, deep throws were huge. He was able to have two big touchdowns of those three completions. But my biggest takeaway, like my biggest thing of, of what I saw improvement on was just his ability to read the defense, his ability to see the field, and then just distribute the ball correctly. Against the or against Rice last week, whenever Rice wasn't blitzing, so meaning they were dropping seven or eight into coverage, he was only seven to sixteen. Now that could have been a few different reasons why, but still, he's only seven to sixteen whenever they didn't blitz, and so that tells us okay, something was going on whenever you know reading, receiver running the wrong route, whatever. But against Bama, whenever they didn't blitz, right? So again, seven or eight drop back, and you have to read the field, read the defense. He was fifteen to twenty-two for two hundred and sixty-five yards and two touchdowns that was my biggest takeaway and the biggest area that he improved on and probably why they're able to just be consistent converting some big downs had to convert on again defense dropping back can be hard as a quarterback when you have seven or eight defenders you have to read through but yours did a great job and had you know, i think a few touchdowns against that, those type of looks against alabama so that was my biggest takeaway again there's a bunch of stuff that he did well but he improved on the errors he had to improve to read the, to, to win the game the bama's defense showed a bunch of different several different looks that was okay. Still had success. And kudos to the offensive line for Texas. They did a good job keeping him clean. Had a few uh, pressures and, and, and a few pockets that weren't clean. They did a really good job against Bama's defense overall. And, and they rode the ship. Like, there was that one three and out. I, forget, I think it was the second half where it was like one of the only inaccurate throws that Quinn had. Had inaccurate throw, not set his feet. You probably heard uh, Herbie. Uh, Herb Street talk about it then he had to throw it to Whittington that was a little high but maybe he still should have caught that was like your only kind of like oh dang okay here it is like here's a letdown but no they responded they bounced back when Bama scored they scored it was just a great overall performance by Quinn it's nice to see to see you know 
a high ranked quarterback, a lot of criticism, a lot of eyes on him, you know, uh, do really well. So for whatever that's worth, some random guy on YouTube, uh, it was great to see. So again, just a big takeaway is he improved in what he had to improve on, hit the deep shots, read the defense like he was supposed to, and delivered a good ball. So with that said, or delivered very a, a lot of good balls. So with that said, we're going to watch one clip of, of Quinn. It's broadcast footage. Again, I apologize. But it's a clip showing his ability to stay in the pocket, read the defense. Yes, the linemen do a great job up front blocking the three guys coming. But Bama's dropping eight. He has a good job just reading the defense and throwing a good ball to Whittington. So I just wanted to kind of demonstrate and showcase the ability that he had, the ability that he did uh, the other night against Alabama. So, again, if you like this type of video and content, like, subscribe, all that stuff really does help. With that said, let's get to the video. Okay, so here's a quick clip we'll watch that kind of demonstrates everything we just talked about. Yeah, the deep balls were great by Quinn, and some other throws were great, but it was the ability, I think, just to just to read the defenses, see the field. Uh, he just did so much better this game than, than against Rice, and that was he did exactly what he was supposed to do, right? Awesome job. So again, just three guys are coming, eight guys drop into coverage. Again, no one blitzing, right? No one's blitzing, but Quinn does a good job reading the field, dissecting the information, and then throwing a good ball. This is a second and 15 right after Bama scored to make it 27 24 uh, kind of early ish in the, in the fourth quarter so good job here he's reading and again I got to go slow it's broadcast footage again eight drop into coverage three here great clean pocket but really good job by Quinn reading boom throwing a strike to Whittington in between this hole here uh, and, and the defense so again really good job by, by Quinn there just wanted to show a quick clip then Whittington goes on and runs something I wanted to show just one quick clip talking about the improvements that that Quinn made and that was just the ability just to be comfortable in the pocket read the defense and be loose and man what a hell of a game for Quinn so anyways if you like this type of content please consider liking subscribing all that YouTube stuff it really does help the channel grow and yeah keep following along and uh, we'll see you next time peace